What is going on guys? Welcome back. So today I'm in my car. I'm in New Jersey. I pretty much skipped the trip from Maryland to New Jersey because I was trying to focus on the road the whole time. Uh, right now I'm parked. I'm not, you know, on the road or anything. But uh, anyways, aside from all that, I'm going up to North Jersey to get the head. And the reason why I chose to drive instead of having him ship it down here is because it's going to cost the same amount and I figured, you know, I'm not doing anything today and so why not? Uh, also, it gives me a chance to inspect it and check everything out and make sure everything's good. So I figured, you know what, let's just take the drive and let's just do this. So I got the B16 head. I'm here in, where are we? We're in New, New Jersey. Jersey. All right, so this is my boy Rob that What's I got up, the head from. Here's his car. Once I get back down to Maryland, where is he? There you are. <laughs> so once I get back down to Maryland, I'm going to hit up my machine shop and then take everything down there to put everything together and we'll just go from there. Alright guys, so it is like now 7.36 or so, and I'm still in New Jersey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in New Jersey overnight and then go back down with all this crap. As you see, I got my Popeyes. We don't have Popeyes down where I live. It's like 40 minutes from my house, so I can never go to Popeyes. So whenever I get the chance to go to Popeyes, I go to Popeyes. But got Popeyes, got the GSR head, got a bunch of other stuff. So thank you, Rob, for everything. All right, so I'm back in Maryland finally, and I have everything here. So I figured, you know, I'm gonna actually show you everything that I got here and where we're gonna go from here. So first up is the B16 head. Um, this is what the bottom looks like. So I may uh, have it resurfaced, but I don't really want to because I'm not trying to shave everything off. But then again, you want a flat surface for when you're rebuilding, you know, an engine. So we'll see how much it costs and I'll go from there. But this is what it looks like. Uh, I figured I'd turn this over. This thing is kind of heavy. So here we go. Cams. Um, the rocker arms are in there too. Uh, I think it's just missing the valves and everything, all the valve train in there. But like I said, um, running B16 head with a GSR block. So poor man's type R-ish. We'll see what I do to the inside, but that's what that looks like. Not much to really say about that, so I'm going to show you the part that it came with. All right, next in this box, uh, we got all the valve train that I'm going to need. So the valves, the valve springs, and the retainer, and I believe these are the valve guides. So that's cool. Probably going to reuse these if I can. If not, I'll just buy new ones. They shouldn't be expensive from the OEM store. But that's what's in this box, so I'm good. If I wanted to stay completely stock, I can, but I'm not. And in this box, we got, you know, a nice little Skunk 2 sticker. And also, we got GSR cams and more valve springs and retainers. And I believe a cam seal. So, the reason why I'm going to be using these instead of these is because these have a longer duration or a higher lift. I think one of the two, not exactly sure. But that will yield you more horsepower. So, that's why I'm going to take these out and put these in. So, that's pretty much it. I have to send the crankshaft back to the machine shop because it has marks on it. And that's not good. So we have to get that done. And after I get that done, I can take the entire block to uh, like a machine shop or a Honda shop and just have them measure all my clearances for me and just like, like have them put them on all the all of the bearing surfaces and then I can just finish it from there. So that was the end of the video and I will see you in the next one.